Hello and welcome to the 8th Visual Post tutorial and this is Rakesh and today we are going to learn about something called inline editing. So what exactly an inline editing is? So this is the account of someone here and uh, if you see uh, every field you have this pencil icon so you can double click on it and now you can edit that okay and you also see now uh, here there is one more icon of lock sign so if you double click on it nothing happens so this is called inline editing if you want to create your own visual course page and want to give this functionality then how you can do that okay I just refresh the page now this is the new page named edit inline and I'm going to remove this stuff make the font bigger and now right here is standard controller account and use this apex detail and right here mm, related list to false i don't want to see the related list and the subject what i want to display on my visual post page is account.id and then save it now here we go there's nothing because i don't have the id of any account so just right here paste and now as you can see the account detail all the fields are here okay so if you double click on it there's nothing okay there's no lock icon everything is disabled by default so to enable inline editing you have to do one thing that there's an attribute that is called inline edit make it true and then save it now you can see that if I every every field has this pencil icon so you can double click on it and you can change it okay so easy but remember inline edit attribute is only for this apex detail okay and if there is some conditions where you don't have this apex detail then it would be more tougher not tough it's very easy because we have new apex tags okay for that uh, what we are going to do now is doing some coding stuff okay so just i want to display what i just want to display something like name of account and then some space and type of account and then industry okay over oh, yeah name account type industry all the account name types and industry will come and on that page we will give this functionality okay and we also have some buttons and we also do some good stuff on that buttons okay so just watch this video carefully okay just i'm going to delete all this stuff oh let's start to code some more stuff just right here record set where and uh, set it to like uh, records and now give the id of that like my page yeah now it's time to add apex form apex form and in apex form you also give the id like my form yeah now it's time to add apex page block and just give the again id like uh, my block right now it's time to add apex page block table yeah page block table here 
we are going to access this records okay so write here value and here just in the expression tag inside that writes records okay same as this records at pair so we can access all the accounts okay now define a variable okay so i just define rec for record and give the id like uh, my table okay now it's time for the columns apex column and now delete that and come here copy paste now this is the opening one and this is it is the opening one this is the closing one okay in between i'm giving just apex output tag output field okay and give the value what should the value is uh, i'm just want to access the account name here okay and save this now as you can see here there are all the uh, name of the accounts are coming here but without any header so how we can identify that what is the list names yeah so for that we need a new tag that is called oh it's apex face it and write here name and give your name as header so we have a header now here yeah, name okay you also write that account name save it and here we go account name so these are the list of account name okay same as that we need two more uh, columns for that we need to just copy paste yeah so this is the second one and this is the third one okay so second we are going to uh, type and just make everything like same and then uh, last is industry yeah industry okay save this and now as you can see here oh, okay so three headers and all the list of name type and industry it is cool so um, now what we do not have here is the buttons okay so we need three buttons for that come here and just go out of this page block table okay and here write apex page block buttons okay and now uh, add some apex command button and give the value to save and what action it performs that just call the standard save and give the id here you have to give the id because it is very important like save button okay because we are going to do something with this id in future okay uh, copy that paste paste now it's time to add edit button and cancel so right here cancel and not save button it is edit and here the cancel save this now if you see here there is three buttons now okay so we are going to give the functionality of what to edit if you double click on it then we edit all the records for that uh, just come inside this apex page block table and write here apex inline edit inline edit support okay and uh, just give the event when it will work so on double tbl click on double click save this and here we go if you double click on it now you got the functionality of inline editing it's so easy 
yes but if you submit this and then a QA will come to you and just smile and say you that we have bugs in your code because whenever you just <laughs> double click on it then edit button should be hide okay should be invisible because there is no need to if you are going to edit anything then there is no need to show this edit button so how exactly you can do that you think it's very tough no it is very easy on that apex inline edit support tag you just have one more what we call attribute yeah so on edit so what are the buttons you want to show when it is double click okay so i just show save button okay and cancel button okay the id of that buttons you have to write here okay now one more is hide on edit so if you double click on any record then what are the buttons you want to hide so i just hide the edit button as per our qa yeah <laughs> just save this and here we go if i double click here the edit button will disappear okay so if you want to experiment then just hide this to the cancel button so just comma and paste it and save now if i double click then edit and cancel button both will disappear yeah that's it so in this way we can uh, give the functionality to inline update inline edit to any visual post page you have built okay for now thank you and if you like then just thumbs up and uh, see you in the next video thank you